<laughs> oh. almost tripped me up. I'm Gavin. I'm Patrick. And welcome to the dorm room. Here at the Fraternity. So, the other day, we were celebrating our friend's birthday at the Magic Kingdom, and we thought, let's leave the Magic Kingdom, let's go have dinner somewhere. So we're like, why not? Let's go over to the Wilderness Lodge. I never been. Actually, I've been, but it's been a long time. So I was really excited to see this resort in person, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I love how it was actually kind of spur of the moment. I like how you can simply get on a motor coach at Disney and go over there and be there in just a few minutes, and then mm -hmm. you can have drinks, have dinner, and then come right back to the the park. It's not. It oh, was yeah. really convenient. It's cool. And they just opened up. We went there because we wanted to see Geyser Point Bar and Grill. They just opened up very recently, and oh my gosh. I know. Since everyone <laughs> over on the West Coast is reviewing, I believe, the Rose Tavern. I think that's what it's called over at Disneyland. All that food looks delicious. So we're like, why not try and give you guys a review on a new restaurant or a new food offering over here at Walt Disney World. So when you get to the Wilderness Lodge, of course it's beautiful, you walk through the hotel, it's out past the pool, and it is right there, like right there on the mm -hmm. edge of Bay Lake. The view is stunning. During the day, it's beautiful, you can see all the boats out there, it's just great. And you can even see the old Discovery Island, um, island out there, if, for you Disney fans of the past, that's really cool, an extinct attraction. And at nighttime, it's great because you can even see some fireworks from there if you go out to the edge, outside the bar area. It's open air, which is great. And it can be closed in though if there's like, you know, Florida weather, it's bipolar, so it rains randomly. And if it's really cold, there's heaters. And the food, let me tell you, is so good. The food is so good. We love you wouldn't it. think that it, it would be good because it's at a bar or it's just, oh, oh my gosh, the drinks are fantastic. Now, what we had, we, I had two drinks and we both shared one drink actually. Oh, yeah. Um, so we both start off with a black cherry mule. Um, the cherry mule drink, um, it's not going to taste like syrup. A lot of people think it might taste like cough syrup, but it was, cherry, but... Uh, it was very smooth. And if you like mule drinks, it's fantastic. And it's kind of dangerous because, it, yeah, it goes pretty quick. Definitely a great choice for the summer days or pretty much every day here in Florida in the nice humidity. Yes, it was, it was very refreshing, so highly recommend that. I think all the drinks there are probably are refreshing just because of the atmosphere. Um, I had the Huckleberry Punch, um, and that was really good. Uh, it, was, it was a mix of different things. I think it was a cranberry, it was... Uh, it was vodka, and yeah. another liqueur, but... It was really, really good. It was really good. It was one of those dangerous alcohol, adult alcoholic beverages where you'll have one, and then like 20 minutes later, you'll stand up and you'll go, oh! Right, that's right, I had we'll feel like a drink. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what we call it dangerous, but it's dangerously good. Thanks, Josh. So get some food with your drinks, that way it's not as dangerous if you're leaving, you know, pretty soon after mm -hmm. having a drink. Um, I had, my first time ever having this, I was pretty excited, Patrick was judging me hardcore because he was like, I don't know how you can do this. The Bison Burger. It was really good, and I'm going to tell you right now, I really I don't taste the difference between bison and regular hamburger. It tasted, it was delicious, but didn't taste any different. It had a great fresh lettuce and tomato and cheese on it. It was in the, oh, the waffle fries. They have yes, waffle, the fries. waffle fries. <sighs> so good. They are homemade, handmade, whatever you want to say them, hand cut. They're so good. Um, and the burgers, like the bison burger is $13.49, just so you guys know prices, get an idea. It's not. It's not that bad for what you're getting, and of course, just the atmosphere. Yeah, it's really, really big. It's yeah, it is a good size. It fill it fills you up. He couldn't even finish his, so I helped him out with that. He had the classic bacon cheeseburger. You yeah. Know? So I mean, like in the, in the words itself, it was classic. It is classic. It was so delicious. It was not as big as the uh, bison burger, but like it was like the smoked bacon was so crispy. It wasn't like limp. Ugh, I don't like it when it goes limp like that. But I love crispy bacon. It is so good, and in that hamburger was delicious, and it was succulent, and you have to try it. If you just want to go and have just a regular burger, great burger. They got you covered. And the waffle fries, I want to add to that, what we were talking about, they are very crunchy. So mm -hmm. it's not like soggy, they're not, they're actually better than Chick-fil-A waffle fries. They look like Chick-fil-A fries, but they are actually, they have a texture and a, a seasoning on them that I think they're fried in, and it was, it was great. So we will be back, that is oh, for sure. Yeah. It was overall a oh, wonderful okay. experience. And some, it's just, it's nice. You can go out there, again, from the parks, it's really easy to get to, or you can just drive out there. You don't have to be a guest. You can just go out there and let them know you wanna go have dinner there. And they have TVs as well. 
uh, playing games. Children can hang out there. They just can't set the bar, of course. Right. Um, so they do have seating there. It's all covered, and they have a fire pit out there. I think that's they're oh, yeah. about to they put do. in or finish putting in. And it's just a it was a great great yeah. time. Maybe we'll see you guys there. Maybe Probably. we'll see you there. Take our word for it. Go Probably. check it out on your next visit. If you're local or if you're going to be visiting there and staying at the resorts. It is worth a visit out there. You'll so enjoy. one more time, Gavin, what were the drinks costs and the hamburger costs? So the Huckleberry Punch is eleven twenty-five. The Black Cherry Mule was eleven dollars. The Bison Cheeseburger was thirteen forty-nine, and then the Classic Bacon Cheeseburger was twelve forty-nine. So it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It's not too it's bad not for too what bad. you're getting. Yeah, for Disney, I think that's a good deal. Yes, I mean yes, I know. Of course, it could be a little bit pricey. But for the quality of food at this particular restaurant or bar, it is definitely worth it. So if there's a particular bar or restaurant at Walt Disney World that you guys would like us to go and check out and review for you, let us know down below. Because obviously we know, you guys know, we love food. We love to have adult beverages every once in a while. So please let us know. We'll go out and we'll do that for you guys. We're always hungry. So <laughs> yes, please comment below. Make sure you yeah, we share the love, comment, share this video. Make sure you like us, uh, subscribe, and just do all that stuff. And we will see you guys next week. And thank you so much for watching. That's right. And like always, from one brother to another. See you real soon. Here at the fraternity.